So with the possible end of Planet Zoo at the horizon within the next year or so, mods for Planet Zoo could definitely keep the game alive for many years after the official development of Planet Zoo ended. However, is the Planet Zoo community actually ready to jump into the world of Planet Zoo mods? I think it's about time to find out. Hey everyone, my name is The Lady Designer and today I would like to jump into our very first video about Planet Zoo mods and as I am a complete new when it comes down to mods, I invited a very well-known Planet Zoo community member, a Planet Zoo YouTuber and a very well-known modder, the lovely Leaf to our channel. Welcome Mr. Leaf, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, I am doing <laughs> fabulous. How are you doing, the lady? I'm doing well. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but also very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Oh, please. My pleasure. It's <laughs> going to be so fun just to see like your reaction because you haven't really messed with mods before, mm -hmm. at least for Planet Zoo or really anything else. So it's going to be so cool to see <laughs> your reaction to like what our little community, what our little pocket of the community has been doing. Uh -huh. So I kind of made this little map for you. So uh, we're going to go through the types of mods, not only for you, but for your viewers as well. And just talk about what the modding community is all about, how the these mods work and the different types of mods that people can add to their games. Yes, yes, exactly. And it's fun to mention like how we actually got to make this video together mm -hmm. like as many of the viewers know we did a planet zoo the ultimate survey on the channel recently and there was a question do you think i should start using some modded animals for a future series so not completely or per se but maybe just add one or two animals or i don't know how many and um the answer was quite <laughs> to that <laughs> but, like after a day or two i was texting leaf like uh you know the planet zoo community actually seems very divided about mods like it was pretty much 50 percent saying yes 50 percent saying no like mm -hmm. uh, and we were both wondering like why is that? Is that because people just don't know much about mods? Is that because people uh, don't know how to install them? Don't know what the risk is of, of using mods? Or do people actually know what mods are and what you can do with mods? Like, I honestly haven't jumped into modding at all. And it's not exactly that I am completely new to mods because I think a, a, two years ago or maybe three years ago already, I did try some mods and then it mm -hmm. completely broke my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so back in, I feel like that's where a lot of people got their preconceived notions about mods because when we first started out, the Southeast Asia pack came out. Uh -huh. And the Southeast Asia pack with that release, yeah. Frontier kind of switched Planet Zoo over to a new file formatting system. So every single file in mods had to be fixed, <laughs> which led to crashes, which led to maps being quote unquote lost. Uh -huh. if, if the map's lost, there's always a way to get it back just reach out to like someone in the modding community and they could always help you out with that yeah but ever since then modding has kind of been seen as uh maybe this is a little bit too risky business yeah but i've been working with the kind of like cobra tool developers which are how we can actually add these animals props remasters to the game mm -hmm. to make sure that all this stuff doesn't break between updates or at least if it does break we're very quick to make sure that at least your maps won't break there's going to be some small small issues with some mods still mm -hmm. say for example there was a recent issue with animals floating on water we'll see a little bit of that today but i just want to give that as like a quick little psa okay, okay. but i think we should probably talk about the risks of mods yeah <laughs> uh so modding of course is not officially endorsed by frontier that's why you'll never see like nexus pages linked directly by the frontier planet zoo twitter or anything like that when you do mod you do mod at the risk of breaking your own game not being able to load into your own maps which please if you have an issue like that we have a little modding server uh so people over there are always quick to help you out make sure that you guys are able to get back into your maps and stuff like that so there's always a way to get stuff fixed but the most important thing to keep in mind is you're doing this on your own time yeah and frontier won't really be able to help you if you lose a map but we will so that's cool but let's just get started into the remasters Ooh. <laughs> 
dude. All right, so remasters are super cool because back in the day, we used to only be able to make remasters by replacing the original Planet Zoo files. Uh -huh. Now these remasters, they do not need to be replaced at all. In fact, they will work in between updates, so you don't need to constantly be updating them. Oh, that's great. Unless if the mod maker kind of like puts out an update. Say, for example, the Bactrian Camel. Yeah. Uh, so these guys look a lot more fluffy than your yes. typical Bactrian Camel in <gasps> Planet Zoo. I'm like speechless. I'm looking as well as like these these big uh, feet, paws, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the yep, hooves. they're hooves. Yeah, yeah. they're hooves. They're looking good. So, this mod is made by Gaboy and Jorno. So, it adds five new variants to the Bactrian camel. That's another thing that remasters can do. They can add new variants to existing animals. Uh huh. Remasters also work in franchise mode. So they won't interrupt like anything in terms of the market. They're purely a visual upgrade to your animals. Uh, so if you guys want to have a lot more realistic looking animals, remasters really are some of the best ways. This is fantastic. Yeah, right? That's a pie ball. So, so y you're just saying if you download this mod, you, you don't have to update it at all when they have a new DLC or an update? Pretty much, yeah. I haven't had any issues with that recently. There was one small issue that was like two or three updates ago where the fur looked a little bit blurry, but they came out with like a super quick fix to that where it was like- Oh, that's amazing. We just need to update one file. Every single one got updated within like a week or two. And yeah, they're always on top of their stuff right there. They are fantastic. <laughs> oh, really beautiful. I really also love the different color variations. Right. They are beautiful. So it was super awesome that the uh, dromedary came out because they were able to use those colors as a base for this one. Uh huh. So now they both have like the same color morph variations. It's super awesome to be able to see that. So I'm just curious because, okay, so this one is the Bactrian camel. Mm -hmm. And if I now go to animal training, and yep. a find a Bactrian camel. You even have like these icons, so it it almost feels like super real. <laughs> Like, as if these animals belong in yep. here. Yep, so these mod creators are insane with the amount of quality that they're able to put into these animals. So the icons are always my favorite part because it's such... Go to the Zoopedia, too. Why not? Um, oh, wait, yo, seriously? So there is oh, a Zoopedia? Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. So they go crazy with it. They make sure that all the uh, variants are updated. They make sure that all the UI is updated and very synonymous with how you perceive the animals in the game. Oh, that's fantastic. And they're just super beautiful at that. So it's just really cool to see. Now, now this is obviously like a remaster, but we're also going to look at like yes. extra animals for in the game. So yeah, let's just jump to the next one. And then later on, oh, we yeah. can also look into the, the zoo of a new animal. What do we have here? This is my favorite remaster out there because the <gasps> original base game Koala uh -huh. was never really my favorite. Uh, it wasn't? Not to mention, <laughs> no, not really. Uh, because <laughs> it's so interesting. Koalas have a three different subspecies, I want to say. Uh -huh. uh, there's a Queensland koala, there's a Victorian koala, and there's another one. I, mean, I think it might be the Tasmanian koala. I could be wrong, uh -huh. but they all look completely different. And this one is representative of the Queensland koala, yeah. which have those huge fluffy ears that you could see. <laughs> <laughs> they have. And that very iconic long nose. So again, remasters really just set out to bring the most accurate version of these animals possible. Uh -huh. And I love it, especially for the koala, because he looks even more adorable now. It is. Yeah, it's so cute. And it also is a little bit brighter, I feel, mm -hmm. at the back. Like, its fur is a lot more brighter. It's so cute. I've never seen this animation before. <laughs> it's like, what? So the Victorian koalas are a lot more brown. And what I feel like the Planet Zoo staff did when they were making the original koala model was trying to find, like, a mid-ground between the two, which uh -huh. obviously doesn't really exist. So there is a new species out there for the Victorian koala. I didn't include it in here because it's not interesting. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but this one is a lot more bright gray. It's a lot more silver, really. And it's a lot more representative of the real animal itself. Oh. It's just so cute. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at them go. Oh, that's so adorable. Right? But that's cute because that means that you can have different koala species in mm -hmm. your zoo then as well. Exactly, yeah. Here's like one of the original mods. This is the 62nd mod released of like ever. Uh -huh. uh, there's over a thousand mods on the Nexus currently. But this one has been constantly reworked, <gasps> remade, and honestly perfected over time. This is the Bengal Tiger Remaster. A million different people worked on this one. I should mention that Gaboy worked on the koala, but Gaboy, Havoc, Jorno, uh, and a whole bunch of other people worked on the Bengal Tiger Remaster. And again, this is another situation of where you could see the multiple variants pop up. But this is like really adding so many different color variants for the Bengal tiger now. Absolutely. <gasps> it adds so much more color. So you have individuals where I know a lot of people would like to see a golden tabby tiger in the game. Uh -huh. This mod adds to that. We have this individual that you're looking at right now. This is a lot more of a black individual. So the stripes are a lot more thick. That's just a normal one. You can see that the face is a lot more realistic. Uh huh. Yes, you can tell. The original Planet Zoo models I think a lot of people understand that as the game progressed, the animal models got a lot more realistic. Remaster mods just helped to bring the rest of the game back up a bit more uh -huh. and really helped to make them shine. Exactly, yeah. And also the lions, like, I think that's the most requested mm. animal for people that ask Frontier to go back oh my gosh. and remodel it because it looks That's so cartoony. That's our next one, just you wait. <laughs> but we will get back to that, yes. But, uh, I really want you to see the golden tabby tiger in here because it's so gorgeous, oh, yeah. Oh, um, it? It should be like a bright orange kind of looking guy. I mean, they're tigers, obviously, they're bright orange. <laughs> it might be swimming. I'm not sure. Yeah, so if you just bring her out of the water, and then you should be able to see like the insane coloration on here. It's a lot more subtle stripes, but it's so beautiful. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, that's gorgeous. So unfortunately, these morphs you would often see in like roadside zoos and stuff like that. Not really the best of conditions, mm -hmm. but still, it's Planet Zoo. You can have them have the best of conditions. You can have your own little perfect zoo for your <laughs> golden tabby tigers. They are so gorgeous. Right? I love this remaster. It's gorgeous. Now let's pop over next door and check out the next one. This is, of course, the African Lion remaster. This one is made by Havoc. It's made by Gaboy. Tosca, Narwhaler helped out in here as well. It adds a whole bunch, I believe, four new variants to it. Uh, I don't have all the variants in this little enclosure itself, but I have a whole bunch of them. My favorites are the ones with the black mane right there because it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous contrast. <laughs> They are beautiful. I just can't believe that I'm looking at Planet <laughs> Zoo still. <laughs> if you want to wake one up and move it so you can see its full mane in action. I know, yeah. right? They're so beautiful. I mean, they're doing what lions do in zoos all the time. They just sleep all the time. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Oh, look at that. You can see it's beautifully combed. Yes. It has a really insane texture and they're just really, really stunning. Are the little ones also remastered? They are. So a lot of remasters will touch up pretty much any aspect of an animal if it needs it. Uh, so the line in particular did receive a bit of a glow up. Uh, so they're just, you know, they have their little spots a little bit more prominent and such like that. And yeah, they're just really adorable. They are. <laughs> Absolutely love it. <laughs> The Shavalsky's Wild Horse, if you remember, is like one of the best animals in the game. Mm -hmm. Hands down, gorgeous model, gorgeous representation of its real life counterpart. Absolutely agree. However, there are a lot of different color variants of them in the wild, of them in zoos. This one just adds color variants, so it doesn't touch up the model at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's really no point of getting this one if you're only playing franchise mode because... If you're playing franchise mode with a remaster that adds new colors, you're not going to get any new variants. Oh, okay. So it doesn't work. It's not that it doesn't work in franchise. It's just that it won't show up. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Because Frontier Zoo is obviously not offering them. Yeah, correct. I, I'm sorry. I'm looking at this. 
<laughs> the textures. <laughs> it looks so good. But what is that also right? because of the mod? Or is that also because I, I never so. noticed? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> I've never seen that like yawn. That's no. so funny. <laughs> but um, no, I don't think they touched it up because it's just new variants. So I believe they're just hue shifts. I believe they're kind of just like different paints of the horse. There's some darker individuals in this habitat. There's some lighter individuals like you're looking at right now, and they're just all super beautiful. Oh my goodness! So if you want like a really nice diverse herd, you could just install it, and it'll just really bring out the color. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> really love it, but that's definitely good to know. So you can't use these type of mods. Can you use? Ooh, ooh. Can you use any of these mods in um, in franchise mode, or would you say better not? So you can use, or like the animal mods, the new species. No, because I'll talk a little bit about that once we actually get there. But all the animals in franchise mode come from Frontier servers. So unless if you know, like someone at Frontier installs a mod as a joke and is like, you know what, let's give these people orcas, but that's never gonna happen. Yeah. So. <laughs> I should also mention before we move on from remasters, if you install a remaster and then you put in like all the different variants and then you take that remaster out, it's all just going to go back to the base variant. It's not going to keep it or it's not going to break your game. They're just all going to look like the default horse. Oh, that's very good to know. Yeah, it's honestly fine because it won't break. I'm honestly counting my blessings right there. So future lady speaking here, Leaf and I had a lot of fun recording this video but it turned out to be super long in the end. And as Leave is sharing so much information throughout this whole recording, I don't really want to cut out a lot just for the sake of making a shorter video. So we are going to divide this recording into four different videos. So this was part one about remasters. And in the next videos, we will go over things as new habitat animals, aquatic animals, misc, and talk about the benefits of using Planet Zoo Plus. So if you are curious to find out more about the world of Planet Zoo Mods, then definitely stay tuned and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please consider leaving a like at this video if you enjoyed it and also make sure to subscribe to leave with the link in the description. And obviously, let us both know in the comments down below your thoughts about this video and in general Planet Zoo Mods. Do you already use them? What is your experience with them? Are you not using mods yet? And what is the reason why you're holding back on using mods? We really would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And yeah, we just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.